Hello Aquarians and Cross Watchers, welcome to your reading. So I'm doing a video request. I've got a few of these. Um, this is a reading for Twin Flames already uh, together, okay, physically together because Twin Flames are always in union. They're never in separation. The soul doesn't separate. My phone just went off, confirmation of that. So if you're already with your Twin Flame and um, this is just a reading, basically, what to expect next all right um or what to expect so this is uh been requested by a few people if you're already in together with your twin flame you guys are already doing your thing or whatever however you're doing it whether your friendship or whether you're in a couple because twin flames come together in different ways they're not always meant to be in a couple they're not always meant to procreate um, sometimes they work together sometimes they hang out whatever so this is just uh, a reading for that it's a reading for twin flames not about when you're going to reunite with them but um, you're already you're already um, united with them physically so this is what that's about i want to uh thank you for being here okay i want to let you know that i value you um the divine values you and i want to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me and showing up here for this this reading so we're going to see here what these twin flame um oracle cards want to say and then I'm going to do a nine card spread and then clarify and then I will close out with the Star Seas Oracle. What can you and your twin flame expect here? Anything else? All right, so I have So I have the masculine twin, all right, who is reconciling their differences, okay? So any differences, um, things that were imbalanced between, um, especially on the divine masculine side, I see that those issues being resolved as something moving forward, whatever issues they have. Um, when it comes to, you know, things that you... Uh, are the catalyst for in each other because even when you're together even when um they're in your life they still will be catalysts for further awakening they still will be catalysts to bring things to light for you and vice versa maybe you've triggered something um within them and they're sort of working on balancing that out within them. They're reconciling their differences. And it would have triggered something in the lower chakra uh, area for them. But you guys are increasing your frequency, so this is good. You're going forward. You're not going backward, all right? You both have a higher awareness of consciousness. And here it looks like a butterfly and like a person in the middle. So you are definitely transforming, all right? You and your twin flame are only going to higher levels of consciousness. And I have personal freedom unleashed. And battle, battle of the head versus the heart. And this is basically what you guys have transformed. This is a transformation card. You guys have, have won basically the battle of head versus heart. Because you guys are at a higher level of consciousness. And you guys are only increasing your frequency. So I think what you can expect is a new level of rebirth because um, that's what I heard was a new level. We have personal freedom unleashed and you're only going to a higher awareness of consciousness with your twin. So this is good. That means um, you guys are really doing that meditation of whatever it is. It's bringing your higher awareness, your higher consciousness most of the time it's meditation traditional zen practices whatever that is whatever it is that you're doing in other words it's working okay it's working i don't see anything bad from those cards i see everything is increasing and renewing and just renewing self and renewing self raising your frequency higher and higher and higher give me nine cards for twin flames who are already in union what they can expect nine cards all 
All right. Very good card so far. Okay. So everything for you guys I see is great. Um, the only problem I see here is on the outside, okay? Um, what's on the outside of you, the outskirts, okay? What I see is what's on the outskirts here. There is possibly someone on the outside looking in maybe an ex okay or a third party or somebody from the past um who may come in to try to to disrupt things all right but i don't see that working um number one i would say don't tell everybody you come across you guys are twin flames all right um because there's something there is something to that there is somebody i have a three of cups in the reverse here and i have a page of coins and i have a queen of wands there is still a karmic energy all right um that may try to just kind of stir up the apple cart a bit is what i see someone just tries to it could be an x like i said it means we have the six of cups there it could be someone they have children with or you all right it's someone's ex that may uh, try to cause an issue so either way you guys are avoiding a tower because you've made the right choices all right top top row here avoiding a tower you've made the right choices okay You already have uh, decided you're not going to let this third party interfere. Every way I look at this, you're aware, okay? You're very aware of this person, who this person is, who seems like an ex. And you've already, like I said, deemed that you're not going to allow this person to come in and destroy anything. Tell me about the tower in reverse. We have a card of Leo. All right, we have a card of Leo right here. Someone from the past might be dealing with a Leo, but I feel it doesn't matter. This is you guys are strong. All right. You're the yen to their yang. They're the yang to your yen, and you guys are strong. So because you guys are strong, a lot of it has to do with um, raising your level of consciousness and awareness. You guys keep renewing your energy. And you guys keep ascending. It's something. Um, you guys reconcile your differences. You guys are always working on it. All right. So I don't see that happening. All right. Just be aware. It's in the outskirts. Okay. So that means there's an outsider looking in. Jealous. Uh, maybe because they've not found happiness for themselves here. Maybe it's just a test that you guys set for yourself before you entered this life you and your twin flame set up a little test to see you know um it kind of lets you know where you're at and you're in the right place so i don't see anything happening you guys have really really made major transformations in your life if you were to look back where you were where you are now um you're doing great you're avoiding that tower but there is a person who's trying to or will try to sort of disrupt that a bit Tell me about the Seven of Cups in the reverse. That's the choices made here. The decisions that have been made. Yeah. So, ever since you guys have returned to one another, you guys have been making the right choices. Okay? So, I would imagine, maybe there was a runner chaser, I don't know, but the Eight of Cups is a return. And ever since things have come together this time, it's strong. You both have been making the right choices. I do feel, though, with the Six of Cups, you know, it's an X, it's the children, it's the past. The Queen of Cups can be Aries, Leo, Sag. I do, do have that. There's someone from the past who might be, you know, they don't, 
they might be trying to upset this happy family here that you've created with one another tell me about the lovers Gemini energy so far I have Leo Gemini Aries Scorpio Aries Leo Sag I have all of the elements though I have I have swords, I have cups, I have coins, I have wands, I have all of the elements. It can be any sign. Tell me about the lovers. Mm hmm. Yeah. We have Aquarius in the reverse, and we have the Knight of Cups, okay, in the reverse. There is somebody, like I said, from the past. We have now Sagittarius, we have Taurus energy, but this is the Empress. This would be you. This would be your energy, okay? But, it, like I said, because I have children, if they have children with someone else, it could be a baby's mama. But it's someone from the past who's going to come in and temporarily try to shake things up, all right? Um, it could be coming really soon here with this can uh, chariot, which is cancer, uh, cancer season, but it could be coming really soon that someone's going to try to come in, flirt, maybe have a one-night one stand and get back out. But it's all just because they're really jealous. They're looking from the outside in. They're trying to just, you know, misery loves company, you know. Um, but the thing is, I feel that you guys have really healed things. And you guys have got a good balance. And I don't see that happening. Tell me about the Seven of Blades. So it's like someone's trying to come in and steal the relationship away is what they're trying to do. Tell me about the Seven of Blades. Because I have the Ace of Coins next to the Seven of Blades. Yeah, right here. So whoever this person from the past is, and it could be on your side. It could be whoever's side. But whoever, someone from the past is going to come in and try to get back their relationship, take it from you. Um, but I don't see that happening. And strong, you know, karmic energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, right here, just trying to show, get someone's focus off, and they're going to come in. They're just going to come in to do that. Really uh, low vibrational energy. Tell me about the Ace of Coins. Yeah, Seven of Swords here again. Now it's in the reverse. It's not going to happen. So if you watch this reading and you're already in union with your twin flame, you know, don't go back to them and be like, so-and-so is going to try and do this and don't create drama. That's exactly what this person is trying to do is create drama with you and your twin. Just, it's not going to work. That's all you need to know. Don't feed into it. Don't feed fear to it. It's just, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. They're not going to mess it up. This person has ascended. You keep on meditating. You keep on your ascension. In the pre-shuffle, I got the Merkaba activation, and that might be what you guys are experiencing. You guys are more in your conscious mind. So I would imagine you probably both do a lot of meditation, practicing presence together. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are too close. Since you guys have come together, you guys are too close. All right. It's just not going to happen. We have the Four of Wands, the Six of Cups. There's a lot of closeness between you. There's a lot of happiness here between you. Whoever that person is, they're just going to have to stay the outsider looking in. Um, they were only going to come in for a short time. They were coming in to just try to mess up the relationship. That's the only thing that they were trying to do. They were going to try to mess up the relationship through having some sort of fling. It's going to backfire on them. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Um, I'm sure you're both aware of who this person is. Whoever side it's on. Yeah. This person... This is reversed, but this person has been thinking for a while, okay? They've been thinking for a while. The hangman is here. Um, again, Aries, Leo, Sag, both here twice. Aries, Leo, Sag, the hangman, Pisces, energy, and thinking. This person has been scheming. Whoever this ex is, they've been scheming. 
um, how to come in, how to, how to do things. As soon as they get their plan, they're not happy. Like I said, misery loves company. They want to come in. They want to, um, you know, they want to ruin, <laughs> you want to bring someone else down to their level. This is in the reverse. As soon as this person figures out how they're going to do it, which is really sad, they're going to come in and try and do it. I just, again, want you to know it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. They may try to visit a, a place where someone frequents, okay? This is somebody walking the dog and then a conversation happens. Somebody is going to try to frequent where they know they can find the other person. Um, this is a place, you know, this is like, you know, can we meet up? Can we talk? Or we should meet up and talk. But it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Somebody invites trouble somebody invites through flirting it's an ex it's the past but it your person or you d does not open the door okay the door does not get opened for this to happen tell me about the page of coins so i know somebody is doing their meditation and practicing presence someone is in a very high level here tell me about the yeah <laughs> see four of pentacles Someone knows and someone's going to just hold back. Someone's going to hold back. If this person uh, sees them because they know where they frequent, where they work, hangouts or whatever, the person, the one of the twins here, you or your person, is going to be reserved. Okay? Going to be reserved. They're not going to say much of anything it's a page of coins they're going to be extremely reserved and held back they already know they've left this type of toxic energy okay they've left this toxic energy so tell me about the three of cups in the reverse they're not letting this person back in or you're not letting this person back in whoever has an ex possibly with kids or not doesn't matter Whoever is the ex of a twin that's trying to come in, they're not allowing it. Yeah, they cut it off. It doesn't ever get started. So for those of you, I mean, this is a general reading. But if anyone is already in a twin flame connection, all right, it looks like someone tr from the past tries to come in and disrupt things. But it does not happen. It does not happen. All right. Whatever twin gets approached by this person, they do not open the door. They stay reserved. They stay high vibrational. Let's close out with the bonus card. If this reading resonated with you or someone you know, uh, please share the video. Um, if you have any video request topics, I don't do private videos or personal videos for one person. If it's a topic, a popular topic that will benefit all people, I'll do that. Show me what I need to see as a bonus card. And it says the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. You guys are rare. You guys, um, you're on your path. Okay. You're on your path. And I think like when I had got the Merkaba activation card, and the pre-shuffle, you guys are in a very higher consciousness, okay? Getting higher messages, connecting with source. And this, this low vibrational energy is just not going to affect you guys. You guys would have to lower your frequency at this point. You guys would have to go backwards at this point for this person to be able to penetrate it. It's not going to happen. The tower is avoided. This person is shut down very quick. It doesn't ever get started. I feel that somebody sees someone in public and is like, hey, we should go out, we should catch up, and the door gets shut. It's like, no, no. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I love you, and namaste, my friends.